and welcome back to another episode of the Strong Collectors Podcast. My name is Dakota. And my name is Jordan. And today we are going to be covering the Fan First Monday um, that Hasbro Monday. just... I, think they... Go I believe they said it was their first Fan First Monday really? okay, in the yeah. stream. So... I would... I'd always thought they were Fan First Fridays, and then they started doing them on mm-hmm. Wednesdays and Thursdays, and I liked the Fan First Friday because that sounds nice to say, but they're just going to give it to us when they want to give it to us, and we're going to take it. I mean, if they can brighten our week by giving us a Monday reveal, very true. Count down the days to Monday. That's true. I was very excited for this. <laughs> we got a lot of good stuff today. A lot of exciting things to talk about. But first, Dakota, as always, we have our opening segment, which is what you got, where we talk about our recent acquisitions, what we've acquired in the past week or so um you know what dakota i'm gonna go first this week i'm gonna take it i feel pretty good about what i got so i'm excited all right Um, let's see it so i recently got the oh i also got feedback from my mother she said we need to hold up the toys longer okay uh she's watching on youtube she she is yeah she watched so i'm i'm (laughs) i'm gonna don't talk to my mother that way um, I'm going to hold this one up for the whole time. This okay. is the Walgreens exclusive thing. So, Dakota, you've told me for a while this is a pretty good figure. It's one that I need to get my hands on. I did not start thinking about it until recently you got me an Invisible Woman. And I got the Retro Human Torch. So that got me thinking I need to of course, assemble the Fantastic Four. So I did some research, and I agreed with you. I think this one looked the best. Mm -hmm. I like he's got, like, the classic blue trunks going on. Um, I don't have him with me, but he's got two head sculpts. One's kind of grimacing, one Mm -hmm. with the teeth, one not. He's got the open hands, closed hands. Uh, And really, I think this one just looks good. It's very comic accurate with the, like, orange Mm -hmm. coloration. Uh, Kind of a darker orange, though. The other one almost looks too... The retro looks a little too bright. I I wish I had it to compare, but it... I've seen a lot of people have done... I think you have two customs where they did a dark wash to to kind of make it less... Yeah. Almost, like, poppy, Mm -hmm. which I think is good. Um, but I have a Mr. Fantastic Walgreens coming in the mail, so that'll probably be my next spoiler alert, what you got, because, um, I'm excited to see how Hasbro did, like, the stretchy hands, because I remember Mm -hmm. you and I both had the Toy Biz, which for me, infamously, his head exploded, but he had kind of those bendy wire arms, so I'm curious about that. The other what you got I have, it's not a legend. It is a Black Series Luke Skywalker. This is the Jedi Knight Luke, which I've gathered is probably the best one on the market. He comes with a cloth goods cloak, which I think is cool. Mm-hmm. Kind of, of course, his blue lightsaber. And I think this is probably the best Luke head sculpt they have. Um, it's pretty good. Looks like Mark Hamill. He comes with a blaster as well, which is cool. Is that a blue uh, the one or down... is that green? It's it's green. It might look blue. No, you, you said blue. The... How dare you, Jordan? Did you I said, say blue? You said well, blue. little factoid, he was supposed to have a blue lightsaber, but they filmed it, and they realized in Tatooine when he was outside, blue did not look good mm. against the blue sky. Gotcha. So they switched it to green. Okay. So maybe my, my deep set fandom was coming out there. <laughs> You are looking into the alternate universe. The one drawback, he does not have alternate hands. They don't really seem to do alternate hands in the Star Wars line, like Legends. So that's a bit of a bummer, but um, I got it for a pretty good price, and I'm excited to figure out how I'm going to display it. Maybe I'll have him fighting the thing. Who knows? <laughs> um, but uh, that's my what you got. So, Dakota, awesome. what you got? So, my turn. I'll start out with uh, non-Marvel Legends as well. I was going through Half Price Bookstore, 
and I was able to find a number one Hawkeye. So kind of cool. I mean, I don't know that it's really super valuable or anything, but uh, the cover looks awesome. I like Hawkeye's kind of drawing back his bow, Mockingbird's in there with him. Uh, that'll just look cool if I ever get a Hawkeye figure, I can display it with a cool comic. And if not, then it's just a cool comic to display. With <laughs> Marvel Legends, though, I got my Shield Agents 2-pack. So I'm a fan of these Army Builder boxes. I think they look cool. I wish I would have gotten multiple. Um, I wasn't sure about the <laughs> Shield Agents because I, I didn't have my other Army Builders at the, at the time, I don't think. Um, but now that I have multiple um hydra goons and multiple aim goons there's only two shield agents to fight the armies of villains but <laughs> it'll be all right they're they're screwed yeah, it's pretty <laughs> uneven so i've got uh this one i put the um asian agent head on he's holding the pistols kind of in the kneeling pose well, you got your in. Captain America there. Yeah, I got Captain America out. back there. All right. He'll turn the tide. There went the head. So I got the African-American head on this one. Is and then he got like a... What's up? Blast? Like, that's a... I'm asking about that gun. That looks cool. Yeah, so it's it's a big blaster. Um, and then I have him holding his um, helmeted head also. So... Um, they're pretty cool. They're nice. they're similar to the others. They've got all the pouches and belts. Um, yeah, pretty happy with how these figures came out. Mm-hmm. Well, that's that's nice that they did an army builder and made it a two pack, right? Because they had the scroll. That was a, was that a two pack or a single? The scroll was a single. Okay, I believe so. Yes. I don't know. I mean, it's nice to kind of get a little more. And then was the hand ninja, wasn't that a single? As well? That was a or single, like... yes. Yep. So, I don't know. I, I guess from my perspective, if you're wanting to army build, it might as you might as well get two at a time. Right. Um. So that's and, and then yeah, that's nice. So they have the helmeted head, so you can d- display. I mean, a whole bunch of different variations, right? I mean. Right exactly that's cool and i mean i think it'll look cool with i mean i'm excited for the new captain america to come i'll be able to mm-hmm. um have the shield agents i'll add probably black widow um mm-hmm. and then have them facing off maybe have them surrounded by modok and the aim goons and then mm-hmm. red skull with um the hydra goons so it, i think it'll come with a pretty good display look good on these shelves back here i like to switch them out um, yeah and yeah it's so, a nice display I'm i know i want uh, to go ahead no i i was just saying i i'm i'm sensing for our next one i will have a different display i definitely think i might here's a tease do fantastic four versus the dr doom and doom bot mm. army because as you know We've got about ten Doom bots, and they're just itching to be displayed. So that would know. be a cool display. I like it. So we'll see, Mom. I know you're wondering, <laughs> but <laughs> um, all right. Well, so fan first Monday, Dakota. How do how do you feel overall about it? First of all, overall, um, I'm actually pretty happy even though a lot of these Mm -hmm. figures aren't ones that i'm necessarily going to be hunting down super hard or jumping on the pre-order um there are some that i'm definitely going to be pre-ordering um but i'm happy that i don't have to pre-order everything Mm -hmm. because i don't have the funds for that well i think even those figures that i'm not Mm pre-ordering i'm still pretty excited that they made i think they look cool Mm -hmm. i don't think there was any bad figures in this group um so yeah what what are your thoughts yeah i mean the last event right was the x-men one which i don't think you or i ordered a single one of those nope (laughs) so uh yeah this one at least i had more figures that i was like ooh, 
you know, I'd be tempted to get that, or oh, that looks kind of interesting, where the last one was kind of more of a, yeah, no, no way am I, <laughs> am I getting these? Um, right. Yeah, I mean, I, I think they had a good, a good variety of different kind of teasing a complete wave, but also teasing a future wave. Mm -hmm. Um, it, it just felt like a good variety. And even the, the team felt more into it. I don't know if you yeah. sense that, but like they, they seemed like, I think there was a comment in the beginning where he's like, Oh man, I'm so, I'm so happy to see you again, dude. And it was like, I, I kind of felt that, which I don't know if that sounds cheesy, but it was like, these guys genuinely seemed excited to, uh, be seeing each other and, and just talking toys. So I thought that was cool. And, uh, yeah, overall, I, I really enjoyed it. And I'm looking forward to next month, of course. But, um, mm -hmm. yeah, I guess let's dive into today. All right. Well, our first reveal that they gave us, uh, we got the uh, announcement from, I think it was Dan's or Ryan's, um, one of their teases in a previous Fan First episode was that we were going to be getting a oversized blister card for the retro Spider-Man line. And I think a lot of people expected that to either be the Rhino or the Lizard. And we, like we talked about on our last episode, kind of speculating with the Lizard, um, we were hoping that the Lizard would be more on the Venom size body. And I think now we've got a little bit more um, juice to that I don't know if I'd call it a rumor, but <laughs> a little more juice to that theory uh, because today they announced that that oversized blister card figure is going to be Rhino, which I am pretty excited about mm -hmm. because I don't want to spend the aftermarket prices on that uh, previous Rhino that came out. And mm -hmm. I think this Rhino looks pretty good. I know you have some gripes about it, but I like the color. I like the head sculpts. I like these head sculpts better than I liked the Build-A-Figure one. Just because that build a figure, um, I mean, the screaming head is kind of funny, but it's not really one that I would like my Rhino to have. Um, I kind of like these more like kind of angry and more neutral angry head sculpt. Um, so I think that'll be pretty fun. Mm -hmm. What yeah. did you think about Rhino? Yeah, I'm 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 glad it wasn't the lizard because I agree. Mm -hmm. I think lizard probably shouldn't be the oversized figure personally um i mean i i think this is definitely in my top three of the announcements today mm -hmm. and it's definitely one i'll be getting um i think i i also agree i like the head sculpts better i think they look more detailed um they the other ones kind of felt limited where they gave yeah. you like either a, a modern rhino or a retro rhino that looks like his eyes are popping out of his skull, which like, exactly. you know, this one, he's got the grimacing face, but he's also mm -hmm. got kind of the more standard face. And they even talked about him having that more, I guess I would just say retro look. So I think mm -hmm. that's cool. Uh, I like that. He's got alternate hands. That's yeah. nice. Um, you could have him, you know, grabbing a Spider-Man or flipping him over his head or something. That'd be cool. <laughs> I, I was, thinking about it and i think i was texting you about this today where i was like eh, something's off and i and i do think the the ab crunch kind of throws me off uh personally that's i think where like my eyes first went to um because i have right here the fearsome foes rhino which mm -hmm. you know i am a sucker for dakota i never got the build a figure but i do like this one um I think you can still get him into, like, that charging pose without an ab crunch. I think he's yep. got... Like, I just love this one's face. Like, it's such a... Maybe it's exaggerated, cartoony, but it, it's like a... His face is like a perfect square, which I think yep. is fun slash funny. But he's also got this exaggerated kind of grimace on his face and, and the coloring. I think it's good. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, like I said, I'm going to get the Retro Rhino for sure. Mm -hmm. I might feel differently once I see it because, again, like 
you've talked about the kingpin um, figure is is pretty substantial. And he oh, he's, Dakota's got him on the wall. He's gonna right up, take yeah. him down for you, YouTube folks. He's Super. pretty pretty substantial. Yeah. And so, I mean, um, in case you haven't seen the comparison between the two. He's got some good heft to him. Pretty big that's difference, for sure. I think. So, yeah. I mean, I think ultimately this will be a good Rhino. I'm excited. Uh, like I said, some of my top three from today. I'll definitely be getting one. And, you know, who knows? For old time's sake, maybe I'll rotate out my uh, Toy Biz Rhino just because I need at least a couple Toy Biz figures in my displays for for the sake of our childhoods, I'll say. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I think it it was a good reveal. I think people saw it coming, but I think people were mm-hmm. pretty happy to see it anyways. Right. And, yeah, I just... I'm super excited to get another figure on this big of a blister card because I remember getting this kingpin, and like you said, I just, it's just so big and, like, substantial and... You don't see something in that big of a package very often, so it's kind of cool to get. I've got this one from a garage sale and picked it up, and it just like kind of blows your mind on they would put a build a figure in a package. It's cool. And definitely mm-hmm. getting a Rhino. This is one that I, I'm i definitely going to get two of, and mm-hmm. I think I might keep one in the package and open one up. Maybe I'll have to get three. One to trade later. I was gonna say, <laughs> yeah, you're, you're. I, I, it's we could see the evolution of it, but you're slowly adding <laughs> more and more boxed figures to your display, Dakota. So, uh, I, so I kind of like to that today. In the, uh, it was funny to see today. Those of everybody who watched the the fan first Friday, but or Monday, sorry. Yep. I just, I, you're right. I just want to say it. <laughs> Fan First Friday. It comes off the, the tone. Uh, one of the, uh, I believe it was Dwight, was opening a toy to show, and he just <laughs> eviscerated the packaging. <laughs> just no respect at all for it, and just popped his toy out. And I think, was it, who else was? Somebody, one of, the, one of the other guys was like, that's what you get for opening your toy (laughs) you know so it's kind of funny to see even the creators of the toys you know uh having different feelings on opening or or not opening i guess true because i mean even i think both dan and ryan have boxed and loose figures Mm -hmm. of each figure and they'll display them like one in front of the package and i kind of like that i definitely am not doing that for all of the figures because i don't have that kind of money to be doing that the only figures i had am interested in doing that with is some of the retros. I don't need all these retros doubled up, maybe just the big ones. And then some of the, uh, toy business. I like, I've got my giant man here or yeah. Goliath Mm -hmm. still in his box. I like that. I'm probably going to be opening him up pretty soon. Um, I would like to find all of the series one toy business eventually and maybe open. Mm -hmm. I probably am going to open those up, but also having those on card would be pretty cool too. But mm-hmm. enough on this Absolutely. retro rhino. We're only one one figure in, and right. he's taken a while. Some I know. Of these ones will one go by pretty in. quick. We, we got to keep going. Right. All right. The next one, sticking with I, – I, we're not even sure if this is sticking with the retro line. This could be a separate Marvel Legend, like Build-A-Figure Wave, or this could be um, – they had mentioned kind of what sounded like a similar to – the spider-man retro line but i think they called it like a webtastic line or something like that oh right yeah the um was it beyond amazing or or, or were you Maybe. talking about webtastic is that different they're basically just saying it's the 60th spider-man anniversary and they're gonna be branding it it was kind right. of unclear but it was kind of like beyond amazing so yeah, is it going to be a promo packaging? Is that synergy with the comics? I don't know. I don't really see this one being a retro because it's not... Well, I guess the Negative Zone one was, but this one is very much specifically more modern. So, mm-hmm. because it's just kind of an inverse color scheme 
of the Future Foundation, which I think we've talked about, where he joins up with the Fantastic Four. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, because if you listen to our last podcast, you would hear we had rumor slash leaked. Uh, mm-hmm. That was one of them that we thought was going to be the yeah. white and black version of the Future Foundation, mm-hmm. where he teams up with like the Fantastic Four. Um, but we're getting the flipped colors, so this is the inverse, like Jordan said. It's more the black with the white spider. Um, and I'm kind of surprised that they went that route. I mean, I guess if I was a big Future Foundations fan, maybe I'd be excited about that. I personally mm-hmm. was hoping more for the white with the black. That probably would have been an maybe not an instant pre-order, but I would definitely be getting that figure. This one I'm a little bit more mm-hmm. on the fence about where, I mean, there wasn't a pre-order for this figure, but it's still one that maybe if I find it in the wild and see it, I'll get it. Um, and I guess maybe if it's a part mm-hmm. of a Build-A-Figure wave, then maybe I'll get him for the Build-A-Figure part. But um, just as is, not necessarily a figure that I'm going to be breaking down Hasbro's door to get. Yeah. Yeah, similar here. I mean, I don't have much attachment to the Future Foundation suit. I definitely don't have attachment to a variation of the <laughs> exactly. suit I don't have an attachment to. So, um... Yeah, probably a pass for me, but some people probably will find it cool. And, you know, I love that they're continuing to give us eventually every suit Spider-Man has ever worn. (laughs) So (laughs) we're going to get there. Um, And then I believe what was next was a -a Build-A-Figure. Yes. Right? was the, I guess they're calling him the Infinity Ultron from What If, where Ultron acquires all the Infinity Stones and begins reality hopping and causing all kinds of multiversal mayhem. I remember hearing some speculation that, I think you and I talked about this, people said, oh, it'll be a build figure next year, and I think we were kind of like, I I don't know about that, like, they're going to do another What If wave, but... Here we are. So, um, I mean, I think it looks really cool. It's just a digital render, right? I'm not, or isn't that a render? Yeah, I think it's just a digital render. Maybe it is. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, digital render, not final product. So, I still think it looks cool, though. I mean, I like that it's not showing the vision face. I like he's got, like, the face plate down. I think that adds to it. Uh, That lance looks awesome. I mean, if that's how big it is in real life. I don't know how they're going to fit that in the box. but That's going to be two separate Build-A-Figure parts. Yeah. 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 So um, I think it looks really cool. I mean, I'm excited for it. That's one that I would probably be like, depends on the wave, but I might need to just go in and get the wave at that point because um, they've kind of hinted at it being a mix of Disney Plus and What If. They talked about the Hawkeye and Kate Bishop figures, Mm -hmm. Um, presumably more what-if figures. If it's later in the year, maybe we'd see Moon Knight. I don't know. I mean, Dan Um, had said, I think it was... He did say Moon Knight figures were on the way, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I I think I am going to assume that that means that there's going to be at least one or two Moon Knight figures in with Hawkeye and Kate Bishop. And then depending on how late it is, maybe even um, adding in a She-Hulk or something like that, kind of like the um, first Disney Plus wave where they had, um, I think it was two, two, and one. Kind of. Yeah. So we could have two from Hawkeye, two from Moon Knight, and then one from uh, She-Hulk with Ultron being the Build-A-Figure. So just more speculation from me, but um, that seems like that would make sense. But then getting into the next release, uh, this is one that I'm excited about because I'm excited about the X-Men VHS style packaging. Uh, And this one they've released or they announced is Storm. So this is um, similar to the old 90s Storm that we got before, but this one looks like a lot brighter white. And then she's obviously got that cell shading 
um, different hair too. So this looks kind of more like the cartoon, um, really big and um, kind of looks almost like the, what was it, Megan hair from the Excalibur three pack, but just mm -hmm. in the way that it's like way oversized and um, super curly. So um, then she comes with the alternate hands, the lightning effects. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, she comes in that VHS style box. I've already got Wolverine, Jubilee, and Mr. Sinister on pre-order. So she comes up for pre-order tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern. I'll be adding her to the list of pre-ordered figures for the VHS style <laughs> tapes, and I'll just keep doing it. So um, what were your thoughts here, Jordan? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I haven't been collecting the... Uh, I don't really have a ton of X-Men in my collection. I like the X-Men. Uh, you know, I lean towards Spidey, though, personally. But even so, I, I gotta say, this one struck me as probably the best example of the self-shading I've seen since Venom. Where it just actually... Because I know you've talked about, like, you almost couldn't even notice the self-shading on the other yeah. X-Men. Uh, this one, it's very apparent, and I think it's used really well. I think it gives some cool definition to the figure. Mm -hmm. I think it justifies having the cell shading, um, because kind of like Venom, if you have an all-white suit, you kind of lose a sense of perspective or definition. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense for Storm. I mean, it's one that I'm tempted to get. I'm going to have to... I have to sleep on it. See how I feel tomorrow. <laughs> you don't have much time. I mean, the other X Men are still available, so I would assume she's not going to sell out super fast. True. Um, but yeah, I think she's really cool, personally. And uh, probably the X Men retro, I'd be most likely, to, or VHS, I'd be most likely to get out of what I've seen so far. So, um, okay. see if that changes in the yeah, future, but. Been... Definitely cool. Mm -hmm. I've been enjoying kind of the cell shaded more and more now that I've been looking into the uh, NECA animated Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because those are kind of in the similar cell shading where it's like the cell shading is to make it look more like a cartoon. And I think those NECA mm -hmm. Mutant, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles look pretty cool. Um, I might have a few of those to show you on our next uh, What You Got segment. Um but I'm, I'm a fan of the cell shading when it makes it look more animated like this. And I think this one, like right. you said, it, this one is doing the best job of all the X-Men mm -hmm. with the cell shade. I'm still excited. I thought when they said they were going to release a female figure, I was expecting uh, Jean Grey in her uh, mm -hmm. 90s cartoon uh, costume, which I'm sure we're still going to get at some point, um, along with like Cyclops, Beast, um, and the rest of the team. So, um, yeah, I'm excited that... Uh, Storm's a part mm -hmm. of the group. Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, I probably when they have this up for pre-order, um, it'll say when that's going to release. And I would assume it's going to release with the rest of the VHX box X-Men, which is going to be kind of a big hit to the wallet when all four, unless they add more to that. And I'm going to get a whole box of VHS tapes, um, VHS tape box uh, X-Men. But uh, either way, it'd be a cool add to the display. I'll replace the uh, DCUC back here with the animated X-Men. But now we're going to get into another, well, this will be a whole wave, but to start off, this is going to be one that we had talked about in our last episode as well, as far as leaks and rumors go. Um, we had mentioned that we were going to be possibly getting a Blue Marvel, and today, actually yesterday on Sunday, that was confirmed. They showed us the box art. And then today they showed us the figure as well. Um, I think this Blue Marvel looks pretty cool. Like I said in the last episode, I was I enjoyed that um, storyline where he's a part of that Ultimates team with um, Ms. Marvel and Monica Rambeau, Black Panther. Um, and then Galactus is a part of that. And they like turn Galactus into a good guy or something. He turns orange. I, I didn't really understand it that much. Didn't read it that very closely, but I enjoyed it. I liked the Ultimates. Um <laughs> But I will say I am a little disappointed that we're getting this version of Blue Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> you all right, Jordan? Sorry, man. No, it's just uh, I think we ought to 
add a segment where Dakota loosely <laughs> skims the comic storyline and tries to explain it every week. <laughs> we could do that. <laughs> I'm reading a saga right that was now. Pretty so good. I could give you a saga. <laughs> and somebody's got horns and they're running around and I don't really know. Page two, there's yeah, nipples. Good. Oh boy. So uh anyway, back to Mother. Back to yeah, sorry, Deb. Uh Blue Marvel. Blue Marvel. I do wish th- I, I agree. Even I've seen that art I think you're talking about. And I think he looks cooler in yeah. the Ultimates line, personally. Oh, but. I was gonna say I like the older classic uh, blue marvel where oh, he looks more like okay. like a blue and white version of dr fate um because mm. that was how i first i think there was like a mini series like a six issue something um another one of those that i could give you a loose interpretation of what happened but um i like that <laughs> costume a little bit better um but maybe that's just because it reminds me of dr fate and they didn't want this to be confused with dr fate so they're like oh, this is the blue marvel that we're going to go with um he does come with the cool power effects. It looks like the same power effects you get with the Obsidian Surfer, just blue. Um, so, yeah, anything else you've got, Jordan? Nothing really. Um, I don't know. I don't really have much attachment to the character, personally. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe that'll change because we've heard rumors of him showing up in the MCU soon. Oh. So, yeah, maybe... Maybe that'll change. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's cool to see characters for the first time yeah. that haven't been made before. And we have, a, well, at least two, right, in this build-figure wave. So that's exciting that have not been made before. Yeah, that's true. Um, but yeah. Three, I think, actually, including... Which br- brings us to a character that has been made before. <laughs> I was texting my fiance, I was texting Sam about this, <laughs> and she she got on the Hasbro page and just texted me today. First thing says, "Why are they releasing another Iron Man?" <laughs> you can't have I said, an Avengers wave without Iron Man. That's true. So we are getting a new Iron Man. Um, I guess he's inspired by a recently redesigned suit uh, in the past couple years from Alex Ross. Who he is a good artist, yeah. but I even then it's like another Iron Man. Right. We just did a whole Iron Man wave exactly. last year, essentially, but we're getting a new one. I mean, I guess the saving grace it looked like this one doesn't have the build a figure piece. So if oh, you don't okay. want them, you're not gonna have to get them. He's gonna be All the right. double packed one, I assume. Which again, as we've talked about, people love Iron Man, so. Mm-hmm. You know, if you're a kid, you'll probably go to the store and just want Iron Man, and that's there. Then you don't have an extra Build-A-Figure um, piece laying around. There you go. So, I don't know. I don't think we needed another Iron Man, but... Yeah, I agree. I I have my Hall of Armor, and I, I don't know that this one is necessary to add to it i mean if i find him for you know cheaper than retail on clearance or something like that or maybe i find him in a trade that'll probably be the only ways i'm going to get him i don't need this uh armor i mean the head sculpt looks kind of cool it looks interesting at least it's kind of got more of like a underbite i don't know kind of looks like um the doom patrol i don't know what his name is that robot guy oh isn't he just Mr. Robot? Could be Mr. Robot. Um, kind of reminds me of that. Dakota's like... gonna Dakota's <laughs> gonna go read that one this week yeah. and tell us next time what it's about. So uh, that that's kind of what his head sculpt reminds me of. But I, his giant like armor plates on his thighs. Uh, it's not one that I. If it would have been the armor like the extremist armor that he was wearing during Civil War, I think that would have made a lot more sense. Tons of people mm. would have been going crazy over that. Um, that might have been a little bit better seller, but you know they got to give us bits and pieces as we go. So, um, like you said, Jordan, this will sell products for the folks that don't necessarily want to collect a bunch of action figures. They just know Iron Man. They like Iron Man. They need an Iron Man action figure. They're always going to have an Iron Man action figure on the shelf. Um, so, yeah. And he comes with the repulsor effects and I think the same smoke type effects that mm-hmm. Ironheart came with, except maybe clearer 
more clear than iron hearts um but um like you said we're getting multiple figures that we've never seen before in the marvel legends line even from toy biz and now hasbro and this was another one of the teases from a few fan firsts ago of the i don't remember what the year i think 1994 five six marvel cards um and so we had previously gotten sleepwalker he was the first card that we hadn't gotten a figure of and now we have cannonball or speedball we had cannonball speedball now we have speedball um which this one excites me not because i want speedball but because i want who speedball becomes after he causes the civil war between the superheroes he becomes penance so that's my goal is that we eventually get penance and i hope i'm right there and i didn't just so you make need that, that up. <laughs> no that's good that's good yeah that's right on um yeah this is when speedball is more of kind of the carefree teen kid hero um it looks it looks kind of like a classic speedball, but doesn't really have that retro look. Mm-hmm. He kind of has more of like as if a modern reinterpretation of that with the yellow gloves and the blue color scheme. He does have kind of the crazy hair, which I like. I think yeah. That was a nice feature. I mean, that's got to be the kept. first time we've had that hair. And I think they believe they said, yeah, I believe they said the translucent goggles, which is cool. Yeah. You can kind of see his eyes behind the goggles. Um,. Again, another character I don't really have a close connection with. Um, the one thing, not to lead into the gripe, but I was hoping he would come with some cool effects because he kind of has these like kinetic energy kind of like dots that he sends and bounces off of. And he's very colorful in the comics. Um, mm-hmm. and it almost just looked kind of empty the box for the figure where you had the build a figure piece and then just a big old kind of empty upper left square which I was like that seems a little odd that they wouldn't give him at least something but I don't know I mean maybe the, the speedball fans are so excited to get him that I mean if he was a figure I've been waiting for you know I'd probably of course jump on it um i thought for sure that yeah. they were going to be reusing the same effect that they gave with um the upcoming havoc with that like big blue yeah kind of looks like raindrop puddle um effect that goes behind havoc i thought they were going to add colors to that and make that a speedball effect as well because that's what i would have imagined and then give him even the same mm-hmm. power effects that we've gotten with his hands the bubbly effects it makes sense with this character but um hasbro didn't think so so that'll be in the expansion pack that you got to pick up right i'm sure customizers will make some effects for him but for sure we'll leave speedball now get into the next figure uh which this one we've gotten before but it's been several years this one is madam hydra so For those of you who have your armies of Hydra agents, um, you can add Madam Hydra to the ranks. Although I enjoy my Hydra goons and Red Skull and the whole army, I don't think Madam Hydra is going to find her way into the ranks on my shelf. Um, Again, if I find her in a good trade or something like that, possibly, but it's not really a figure that I have much attachment to, not even a figure I can make crazy guesses to what their storyline is um so i think she's one that i'll pass on but i mean she looks pretty good i mean i can't tell very well from the picture but it actually looks like she's got single jointed elbows which Mm -hmm. surprises me that they're still doing that but um looks like she comes with some cool weapons and has the hydra logo on her holster so what do you say jordan yeah Another character I'm not real, real into personally, but, you know, I don't know. I mean, I'd have to see more pictures. I thought the face sculpt looks a little not great. 
but maybe that's just me. Um, it's nice to see, uh, at least they're getting weapons. Yeah. You know, accessories. Those are fun. And it's nice to have someone to add to your Hydra army. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And then our, our next figure is going to be U.S. Agent comic version, which we have not seen. That's another one we haven't seen for a while. It was originally, was it the early Hasbro, I want to I say? They it did might a have US been Agent? in the um, Armin Zola wave, possibly. Seems like that would make sense. But this one, definitely updated. Uh, I think a lot of people are happy to get a new U.S. agent, mm -hmm. especially with the Disney Plus show. Um, it's nice to see him. I don't know. I I think I think it looks pretty spot on for a U.S. agent. I don't really know what. I would want differently out of them. Um, I believe they said... I'm curious if the shield, is it going to have that clip-on thing mm. going on? They don't really show you. Good question, but... Because some of the caps, so. they have that clip-on shield, which you and I, I think, have talked about this before on here, but sometimes you get a little nervous that's going to break. Um, personally, I agree with you. I like the straps a little more. Mm -hmm. feels a little more sturdy. So I guess we'll see. Maybe they were careful not to show us <laughs> that part of it, so we don't know until we buy it. True, yeah. I think... Um, but as far as the U.S. agent, you know, yeah, yeah. I think good with this me. one, it's... I agree. I, I Looking at it, it looks like a pretty good U.S. agent. I will say the one thing I wish it had was a star on the shield. Um... I mean, I'm pretty sure in the comics there's... I mean, I guess this is supposed to be more of a modern shield. I guess he doesn't have the star on it, but um, I think where I've seen U.S. Agent, he's usually got the star on the shield, and this one just kind of looks empty. It almost looks like an optical illusion. Like, if I stare at it too much, it, like, grows and is coming at me. I don't know. Um, that would be my only gripe with the figure. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it looks like a cool... U.S. agent. I know some people were um, seeing rumors and leaks that we were going to be getting a U.S. agent and started jumping ship and selling their old U.S. agent because it was pretty high on the secondary market. Um, and I would imagine this one is going to drive that price down, I would assume, because I think with all of the updates, this is just going to be a better figure. Maybe if you didn't want the angry head sculpt or you liked the other shield, that'd be the only things that would maybe draw you to the old one so yeah um you want to take us into the nice. next one since you're excited about the next yeah next one i believe this is on my list of anticipated or no uh hopeful figures yeah. and it is the herald thor from the donny kate storyline where thor becomes a herald of galactus and i'm pretty happy with this one dakota i gotta say this is the one i'm most likely to get out of the the wave probably in my top three of announcements today mm -hmm. um i thought it was cool i mean he definitely looks like the comic he comes with the cool accessories which are a like powered up mjolnir mm -hmm. like blue energy and then he comes with odin's raven which is pretty cool because that's another part of the story where odin is not the all-father and and thor kind of inherits that responsibility so that was kind of a unique effect or a unique accessory I didn't really expect. Yeah. Um, but that seems pretty cool. I read a lot of comments about people being excited to display him with Galactus. Right. And I know you and I have Galactus coming. And that would be cool to kind of get as many heralds as possible and, you know, do some displays there. So that'll be fun. Um, I might be biased because, again... I've got a connection to the comic, and I like it a lot. But this is definitely probably one of my favorite reveals today. Yeah, and I mean, I think... I mean, I haven't read the storyline, but like I had mentioned before, in Fortnite, he was one of the main characters for a season. Um, and in, that, in Fortnite, he, like, powers all the way up, so, like, even his skin and hair is blue. I thought that would have... That's what I was expecting. I don't even know if that happens in the story. I would imagine so. Um, but 
that was what I would have just had in mind of what he would be coming as. But I definitely agree. The Raven is a cool touch. Um, and I like the cape that it's kind of like a two colors, like a almost like a purple fading into red. Um, I think Dwight had mentioned that. Um, and this was the one that Dwight was opening on camera and exploding in front of us, um, shredding the box that it came in. Um, yeah, I think with this one, the only reason I would want it, because I don't know this Thor very well, is to go with Galactus. And since you're going to be getting him, I can pass on him. I'm not a huge fan of the hair. I know that. Perfect. I know that you said that, or maybe Sam, your fiance, said that she liked the hair. Not a huge fan of it. Um, I'm going to stick with my 80th Thor as my go to. But, um, and this one will also go well with your Null and possibly Venom two pack. That's still a rumor, no confirmation there. But mm -hmm. we know that Null's coming. So this Venom will go well with that display and whoever else comes with it. Mm -hmm. Then going into our next figure, uh, this is one... Final figure, actually. Yes, until we get to the Build-A-Figure. This is this is a two-in-one figure even as well. That's right. Um, so we've got a first ever in Marvel Legends, Quake. So it's mainly just a female shield body, and then she comes with the... Um, swappable arm hands um that kind of have those power gloves um this one i don't know if i've ever read anything with quake in it i believe she was a part of a video game back on the playstation 2 maybe um yeah I, that's yeah. Or at least there was someone similar like that um so and then the second head sculpt you get is actually to give you a mariah hill is it Mariah or is it Maria Hill? I'm I'm gonna say Maria. Is it Maria? Okay, I've always but I've always said Mariah. I believe so. Well, it doesn't make me look like I know comic books very well, but I promise I read comic books sometimes. <laughs> I just I'm not a good reader, so um anyway. <laughs> two head sculpts gives you two figures. Maybe you have to buy two of them now. Um and I mean I would imagine you could also head swap the um shield two pack helmeted versions on there so you could have your female figures um with the like jet helmets and maybe swap on a backpack or the jet pack from the what was that black widow the gray version um and i think that'd be pretty cool um so this is one that not one that i'm going to pre-order um but one that i probably will try to find maybe in the wild um Mm -hmm. maybe try to pick up from somebody if they just want the build a figure piece then i can pay a little bit less for just the figure um so yeah what did you think about the uh two-in-one quake yeah i think it's smart to give you those figures where if you can just switch it out with that sculpt to have multiple options um again another figure I don't even even have a Nick Fury, so if I were to get a Shield director, I'd probably go with the OG Nick Fury. True, but um, if I had the Shield Army builders, I could see myself wanting a female Shield agent. So there'd be that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think people have been wanting Maria Hill for a little bit just to add to your Shield collection. So I think that was cool. They gave it to us and. Uh, implemented the the two head kind of a two in one so saves us having to buy the extra troop builder right you want to take us into the build a figure yes the build a figure that we have um is the controller who i used to know more about the controller don't really remember much about them. Um, I believe they said it's on the Thanos buck yeah. body build a figure, it, which makes sense. Yeah. It looks like it. It literally looks like it's the Thanos with a different head. They just swapped out the Thanos head and gave us a controller head, and I guess the hand because it's got a built-in controller. But right, yeah, yeah, he's even got like a ridged chin. So 
down to that. Um, I don't know. Not really a figure I need. Sorry. Um, which is probably good because <laughs> I'm mainly just eyeing Thor out of this wave. So I could, I was worried, Dakota. Initially, I thought they were saying this was the N Infinity Ultron wave. Mm. And I was like, man, what am I going to do now? <laughs> so that makes me feel a little better. Um, when I get Thor, I guess I'll have an extra Build-A-Figure piece to trade off to somebody. So Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, if, if I was dying for the controller to add to my obscure villains, maybe I'd want him, but personally, I think I'm good. Yeah. I mean, Hasbro has been doing a pretty good job of giving us obscure Build-A-Figures, which is kind of cool with, like, Controller, Ursa Major, um, Zemnu, Armadillo, not really figures that probably anybody thinks to put on their uh, list of figures they want. Uh, but I still imagine a lot of people are excited to get a controller. Again, same, I'm not super excited. I'm also not super excited about how it looks exactly like Thanos. Um, mm -hmm. There's just, like, I don't mind when they reuse parts. But this one was just seems like an entire reuse of the figure minus a head and a hand. Um, mm -hmm. So not necessarily one that I think I'm going to be picking up. Um, I, I, I guess I've said this a million times. Maybe if I find it in a trade, but even that would just be like trade it to flip it um, just so I can get my hands on it, see it. So then next year when we're doing our year in review of all these build the figures we're getting, I'll have something to say about it. But yeah, not one that I'm actively going to be searching for, um, but I'm. I still think it's cool that we're getting all these figures, and even though I'm not pre-ordering a ton of them, um, I think they're all pretty cool. Um, I actually like this wave more than I like the X-Men wave. I think. Um, I will say that build a figure maybe is a little bit cooler from the X-Men wave, um, a little bit more unique, obviously. But um, yeah, I guess. Uh, We'll get into the last tease that we got and do a recap and mm -hmm. send you all on your yeah. way. So our tease that we got at the very end of the broadcast was what looks to be a science beaker. Do you, mm -hmm. do you think you saw the same thing, Jordan? Yes. Okay. I also believe I experienced that phenomenon, <laughs> Dakota, and saw a science beaker. I mean, my brain, maybe it's just... I'm thinking this because you said this. Or did we talk about this? Yeah, we talked about it. In the podcast? Yep. Okay. You talked about a deluxe beast coming with, you know, maybe a table with some beakers and a lab coat and all that kind of stuff. So that's right where my brain goes is a beast just because we're on a kick of VHS um, retro um, X-Men. Which would make sense because the only beast that's of that style is um, the previous man. What wave was that? Caliban. That was an apocalypse. Was Caliban. Caliban. And I haven't really been a big fan of that one. I've had it, but didn't really love it. So I could totally see them putting that out. Um, I heard some people theorizing maybe it's lizard, but that seems very unlikely to me that they're going to include a chemistry set with the lizard that uh, that seems like a stretch I, what do you think of that um yeah i mean my first initial thought was this is going to go with the deluxe beast which is just a rumor we don't know that there's actually going to be a deluxe beast um but if that rumor is true then in order to make the deluxe beast make sense i think giving him some beakers some science gear a lab coat alternate heads where he's wearing glasses that seems to make a lot of sense to me so that was my first my first thought um i had seen some people think that it was going to be a lizard i could see it being a lizard if it's going to be a retro lizard which i hope we get but mm -hmm. now i'm maybe leaning away from the retro lizard thinking that instead of that they're going to give us a um, lizard from the No Way Home movie. Um, 
because mm. it's rumored or leaked or whatever that that lizard is going to be a Walmart exclusive. And I would be surprised if they made a retro Spider-Man figure a Walmart exclusive. So that's why I'm thinking maybe it's going to be more of a movie um, tie-in with kind of more of the deluxe um, lizard like we got with the um, Marvel Select. So I don't think that that's going to come with yeah. a science speaker. Um, so I don't think it's going to be a lizard. I could be wrong. Uh, but the other theory that I saw that makes a lot of sense is if we're getting a Bruce Banner figure. Um because they could, I, I imagine it can't be too hard to reuse the parts from both um, Mr. Fantastic, the retro Mr. Fantastic with the lab coat, and then maybe um, either like a J. Jonah Jameson or the hood um, using those like kind of suited-ish bodies. So maybe that'd be more um, the hood where he's kind of got more like the khakis and um, mm-hmm. then add the lab coat on, have the beakers with him as well. Um, I think that makes a little bit more sense than just giving us a plain Bruce Banner because it's, mm-hmm. I mean, people want it, but it's also just kind of a boring figure to get just a scientist um, without anything else. So I think having those beakers would make a Bruce Banner make sense. So mm-hmm. those are kind of my, I think probably my biggest guess would be it's going to be a beast. Second, Bruce Banner. Third, least likely is a lizard, or it could be somebody entirely different. Fourth is random high school chemistry teacher. Oh, that's right. I do have another theory that we're supposed to be getting <laughs> the uh, Ned and Peter Parker two-pack. Oh. I thought it could make sense if um, they also came with the beakers because if you haven't seen No Way Home, they, you've yeah. messed up already. But they have the scene where all they're all doing like the lab stuff. Science and stuff. That would make sense to add the beakers in there. So then you have the mm. backpack leak, which could be Ned, and now the beaker. But now as I'm saying that, are they going to have two leaks for the same character? That makes less sense to me. Seems unlikely, Dakota. So I think you're going crazy. That probably can't be far <laughs> too, late. Yeah, like, too late. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's happened a while ago. <laughs> I'm glad it took you this long to realize. No, that's that. Those are good thoughts. I agree. I think it's beast. I think I I would confidently say that. But all right, we'll see. You heard it here first, folks. Jordan's bet wow. on the farm on beast. Beast. If it's not beast, you can riot, Jordan, and demand your you refund. Have... Yes, excellent. Nice. All right. Any last wow. uh, thoughts on the? Uh reveals that were given to us today i think uh i think it was a good day i mean it i was i was pretty happy i was excited to see him and uh i'm excited to i guess tune in again uh what is it the 20th of every month or no well it's not necessarily the 20th of every month that they're doing a fan first it'll be a 20th that they're doing some sort of reveal where maybe they send out a figure right to somebody else to there we go show like they did yesterday with the box art right Mm -hmm. so i'm excited to i don't know continue to figure out what's next right so um if you want to see photos of our what you gots if you want to um follow along like we reposted the um blue marvel reveal and the fan first uh, announcements those are on our instagram you can follow us at the strong collectors Um, you can also follow us on whatever platform you're listening to us on like share subscribe tell everybody uh, we are slowly growing so we appreciate the help there Um, post us in the facebook groups Send us to all of your group chats with the nerds talking about toys. Let them listen to us while they're at work or in your commute. And um, this we're recording this on Monday, the day that the fan first happened. I'm going to do my best to get it edited and posted so that you can be listening to this on Tuesday. And probably by the time you're listening to this, unless you're listening to it Tuesday morning, the pre-orders for Retro Rhino, uh, Storm, 
and the Avengers wave are all going to be live Tuesday, tomorrow, slash today, slash whenever this was when it happened um, at 1 o'clock Eastern time. So get on that, uh, especially for Retro Rhino. Rhino. Uh, that's going to be a fan channel exclusive. I'm going to assume he's going to be pretty hard to find uh, down the road. So I would get a pre-order in just to be safe. Maybe you'll be lucky and find him in the wild. Um, but after he's gone, he's going to start going up in price, I would assume. So get him while you can at retail. Uh, and don't be one of those guys that's asking for a sweet figure like Rhino for retail plus shipping when he's gone. So um, with that being said, stay strong.